I'm Ben with the BTC Sessions, and this is your bullish bit brought to you by BitcoinWell.com, the simplest and quickest way to buy Bitcoin in the US or Canada and get it directly into your own self custody. Check them out today at the links down below. It's funny because uh, what you saw as the part that sort of made you hesitant about Bitcoin privacy, which was a lot of these centralized services being taken down and the fed uh, you know federal governments of various countries attacking them i i see that as like the bullish part because that that's how you weed out all of the single points of failure and that's how you make the system more robust once you take down the parts that are easy to take down then you get solutions that are way more robust and sort of resilient to these attacks. So every time you get attacked, at least you know in any decentralized system, you get better solutions. And the things that survive tend to be the ones that are immune to the things uh, that the other things that uh, didn't survive. It's, it's kind of like a continual evolution. Uh, so I, I see those attacks as a good thing, uh, at least for the long-term uh, viability of Bitcoin privacy. And I, honestly, to a large degree, I don't think we've been attacked enough to have a truly robust solution that's mm -hmm. actually decentralized, that that is very robust, that is very, um, you know, good for the user and ha has all of the properties that I think we all eventually want. It, we, we need some people to, you know, like kind of try things and then those don't work and then you know, you iterate and it, it's, it's sort of this like market back and forth. Uh, and, you know, I, I gave a talk a while ago on how Bitcoin is anti-fragile and have, how every time it gets attacked, it, it grows and strengthens. Um, and I see privacy as definitely one of those areas where we could actually stand to be attacked a little bit more. So we, we know where our vulnerabilities are, because every time you get exposed on a vulnerability, you get you, innovation and people like not covering just that vulnerability, but all kinds of other vulnerabilities. So, you know, we, we have um, different solutions that are trying to be more decentralized using Noster to do the coordination and, and, and things like that. Those are very good innovations. If we had to rely on a single domain to make it work, you know, you could just go to a DNS and just like shut it off or whatever. It, it makes it uh, it makes it very vulnerable. So I, I see that as the bullish thing is uh, is getting attacked so that we can patch all of these things before we get the flood of people in the next few cycles or whatever.